Welcome back approaching the one o'clock hour and uh, we're talking about some nice weather rolling into southeast Wisconsin here as we finish up uh, the rest of the work week. More sunshine on the way after a couple of days of cloud cover, a lot of rain for us. Numbers though substantially cooler than that warm up that everybody experienced and enjoyed uh, numbers in the 50s. Now this isn't a complete cool down. These are actually average normal high temperatures for this time of year. And as a matter of fact, as we roll into the weekend, those numbers might actually go up a bit back in to the 60s uh, today right now after all the uh, cloud cover was out this morning we finished up the last of the rain numbers at this hour are still a solid 10 to 15 degrees cooler uh, than this time yesterday especially for Racine Kenosha I'd say the eastern two thirds of uh, Walworth County but uh, back off to the north and west where the sunshine is starting to come out not too much of a difference numbers right now are in the low to mid 40s area wide we're at 48 right now in Milwaukee and Kenosha 47 for us right now in Sheboygan it is 41 degrees in Waukesha there's the cloud deck out there uh, that is moving by, but we are expecting to see some more sunshine here in the next couple of hours. Those winds still out of the west at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Notice that there isn't a whole lot of high level cloud cover on satellite and radar as opposed to folks uh, dealing with the rain off to the east. So rather the clouds that you're seeing out there on this Milwaukee sky cam. Those are actually within the first several thousand feet, so they don't uh, show up on satellite imagery uh, very well. Numbers as we go through the rest of this afternoon, 40s and then eventually into the low 50s. Another hallmark of the forecast we've had over the last couple of days is just how windy it's been. Those winds are expected to die down now that high pressure is moving in. So you've been putting off maybe some yard work, raking the leaves. I think we'll have a better opportunity to do that here as we round out the rest of the week. Tonight, though, temperatures are expected to fall back close to the free freezing mark or even a little bit cooler than that farther west uh, from Lake Michigan actually could be a few degrees warmer uh, the closer you get uh, down towards the state line. A real similar story could be closer to the freezing mark as you move farther to the east and uh, looking at numbers in the low 30s and upper 20s a little bit farther north of Milwaukee. So high pressure will be uh, sticking around the Midwest for the next couple of days. We may have some periods of cloud cover here and there, but all in all fairly quiet. The only concern is as we get closer to Halloween, we've got this low pressure system that passes just to our south. We'll keep a close eye on it. It looks like most of the rain Sunday into early Monday will stay south of us. Otherwise, rest of the work week featuring temperatures in the 50s and then as we move into the weekend, low 60s, a slight chance of rain. We're going to watch that low pressure system pretty carefully Sunday into Monday, but temperatures rounding out in the low 60s into next week. We'll be right back after a quick break.